Christmas Wishes and Gingerbread Dreams by Reuben White Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Riverwood nestled along the banks of the mighty Mississippi River, there lived a young boy named Billy Joe. Riverwood was a place where time seemed to stand still, where the air was sweet with the scent of pecan pies baking in Granny Millie's kitchen, and where the fireflies danced on warm summer nights. Billy Joe was a curious and adventurous soul, with a heart as big as the Mississippi itself. He spent his days exploring the woods, fishing in the river, and dreaming of grand adventures. But as the years went by, life in Riverwood had grown predictable and dull. Billy Joe longed for something more, something to shake up the routine of small-town living. One snowy Christmas Eve, as Billy Joe helped Granny Millie bake cookies for the town's Christmas celebration, he couldn't resist taking a bite of a gingerbread man fresh out of the oven. It was warm and sweet, and he couldn't resist the urge to taste it. Little did he know that this simple act would change his life forever. As Billy Joe bit into the gingerbread man, something extraordinary happened. The gingerbread man sprang to life, his icing smile stretching wide as he looked up at Billy Joe with eyes that sparkled like sugar crystals. Whoa! Billy Joe exclaimed, nearly dropping the gingerbread man in surprise. Hello there, friend, the gingerbread man chirped. I'm Jingy, and I'm as alive as a firefly on a summer night. Billy Joe's eyes widened with amazement. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. You're alive, he stammered. That's right. Thanks to a special Christmas wish granted by the Christmas fairy, Twinkle Bell, Jingy explained. I was just a regular gingerbread man, but now I'm a real boy. Billy Joe's heart raced with excitement. This is incredible. What's it like being a real boy? Jingy's icing smile grew even wider. It's amazing. I can run and jump and play just like you, Billy Joe. I've always wanted to see the world beyond the oven. Billy Joe grinned from ear to ear. Well, Jingy, you're in luck. I know this town like the back of my hand, and I'm always up for an adventure. We're going to have the best time together. And so, Billy Joe and Jingy set off on their grand adventure, hand in hand, like two peas in a pod. They explored every nook and cranny of Riverwood, from the hidden caves, by the river, to the towering oak tree in Granny Millie's backyard. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they came across a sight that left them both in awe. The town's Christmas tree stood tall and proud, adorned with twinkling lights and glittering ornaments. It was like a beacon of joy, casting a warm glow over the snowy landscape. What a magnificent tree! Jingy exclaimed. Billy Joe nodded in agreement. It's the centerpiece of our Christmas celebration. Everyone gathers around it on Christmas Eve to sing carols and exchange gifts. As they approached the tree, something extraordinary happened. The ornaments hanging from its branches began to come to life, each with its own unique personality and quirks. Hello there, chirped Tinsel the Tinsel, a sparkling silver strand. I'm Tinsel, and I'm always shimmering with excitement. Bobble the ornament, a shiny red globe, chimed in, and I'm Bobble, the smartest ornament on this tree. I know everything there is to know about Christmas. The other ornaments introduced themselves in a chorus of laughter and merriment. There was Jingle the Bell, Twinkle the Star, and even a mischievous little elf on a shelf named Elmer. Billy Joe and Jingy couldn't help but laugh and join in the festivities. The animated ornaments danced and played on the tree, creating a joyful spectacle that would have put any Christmas light show to shame. As the days passed, Billy Joe, Jingy, and their new ornament friends became inseparable. They played games, shared stories, and helped each other prepare for the upcoming Christmas celebration. It was a time of pure joy and laughter, and Riverwood had never felt more alive. But amidst all the merriment, there was one person in town who couldn't stand the sight of Christmas. Old Man Haggerty, the town's resident Scrooge, had a heart as cold as the winter winds. He despised anything related to Christmas, and he couldn't stand the happiness that seemed to radiate from the Christmas tree. One day, as Billy Joe, Jingy, and their ornament friends were decorating the tree with Granny Millie, they heard a grumbling voice from across the street. Christmas nonsense, old man Haggerty muttered as he glared at the tree from his porch. A bunch of hooey, that's what it is. 
Billy Joe couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness. Why does he hate Christmas so much, Jingy? Jingy frowned, his gingerbread brow furrowing. Some folks just don't understand the magic of Christmas, Billy Joe. They've let their hearts grow cold, and they've forgotten what it's like to believe in something wonderful. But Billy Joe was determined to change that. He had a plan, and he shared it with Jingy and their ornament friends. We're going to show old man Haggerty the true meaning of Christmas, Billy Joe declared. We'll make him see that it's a time for love, friendship, and joy. And so, the group of friends hatched a plan to bring Christmas cheer to old man Haggerty's heart. They decorated his porch with wreaths and lights, left gifts of homemade cookies and hot cocoa, and even sang carols outside his window. At first, old man Haggerty was gruff and resistant, but as the days went by and the Christmas spirit worked its magic, something began to change within him. He couldn't help but crack a smile when he saw the twinkling lights on his porch, and he secretly enjoyed the warm cookies and cocoa left for him. One snowy night, as he listened to the carolers singing Silent Night, old man Haggerty felt something he hadn't felt in years, joy. Tears welled up in his eyes as he watched the town come together in love and harmony. I reckon there might be something to this Christmas after all, he muttered to himself. Billy Joe, Jingy, and their friends watched from the shadows, their hearts filled with happiness. They had accomplished their mission, bringing the spirit of Christmas back to old man Haggerty's heart. As Christmas Eve approached, the entire town of Riverwood came together to celebrate in a way they had never done before. Old man Haggerty joined in the festivities, and he even shared a dance with Granny Millie under the twinkling lights of the Christmas tree. But there was one more surprise in store for Billy Joe and Jingy. As the clock struck midnight on Christmas Eve, a soft, twinkling light appeared before them. It was Twinkle Bell, the Christmas fairy, who had been watching over them all along. Well done, Billy Joe, Twinkle Bell said with a twinkle in her eye. You've shown the true spirit of Christmas, and you've brought joy to the hearts of all who know you. Billy Joe smiled and hugged Jingy tightly. Thank you, Twinkle Bell. It's been the best Christmas ever. Twinkle Bell waved her wand, and a shower of glittering stars filled the air. As a reward for your kindness and for making Jingy's Christmas wish come true, I have a gift for you. Before their eyes, Jingy's gingerbread form began to transform. He grew taller, and his gingerbread skin turned into flesh and bone. In an instant, Jingy had become a real boy, just like he had always dreamed. Jingy grinned from ear to ear, his sugar crystal eyes sparkling with joy. I'm a real boy, Billy Joe. Billy Joe laughed with pure happiness. You sure are, Jingy. And so, on that magical Christmas Eve, Billy Joe, Jingy, and their friends danced and sang under the twinkling lights of the Christmas tree, celebrating the true meaning of Christmas, love, friendship, and the belief in something wonderful. As for old man Haggerty, his heart had thawed completely, and he became the biggest advocate for Christmas in all of Riverwood. He even dressed up as Santa Claus and handed out gifts to the children in town, spreading laughter and joy wherever he went. And so, in the charming town of Riverwood, where the scent of pecan pies filled the air and fireflies danced on warm summer nights, Christmas became a time of magic and wonder, thanks to the adventures of Billy Joe, Jeannie, and their animated ornament friends. As the years went by, the story of that unforgettable Christmas was passed down from generation to generation a reminder that the true spirit of Christmas lies in the hearts of those who believe in the magic of love and friendship. And so, in the heart of Riverwood, the Christmas tree continued to stand tall and proud, casting a warm glow over the town, a beacon of joy for all to see, just like the love and laughter that filled the hearts of those who called Riverwood home. I'm looking forward to seeing you join the Key to Wisdom channel. You can hit the subscribe button, follow, like, or friend request for future updates. Happy holidays and have a very Merry Christmas.